We are out here at the Phoenix Fire Department Training Facility, and we are here with Fire Inspector Brian Schultz. Brian, would you mind just telling our viewers what the biggest dangers are of fireworks whenever they're using them at home? The biggest danger is um, fireworks are so dangerous and unpredictable that you can get serious injuries, permanent scarring, loss of vision, loss of hearing. So that's why we urge everyone, just because fireworks are legal, you don't have to use them. We're trying to tell everybody we have 12 great events in the city of Phoenix this year. Go out to those great professional events and let the professionals do it because fireworks are not made for amateurs. Now you say fireworks are legal. What constitutes a legal firework and where can those be purchased versus buying ones that are illegal? Um, all the fireworks that you see in the stores, in, in your grocery stores or the big box stores around the city of Phoenix are what's actually permissible right now. It's going to be anything that doesn't go up in the air and doesn't explode. It's going to be like a ground sparkler, a spinner, those type items. So the ones that you see in the store, that's what's actually permissibly used right now. What are kind of the guidelines for people to follow? Are tents legal here for people to buy fireworks? What should people look for as far as what is legal and what is has some sort of validity to it so that it's not going to explode or have a problem? Right. Um, all the tents all the tents in the city of Phoenix and, and all the stores in the Phoenix, city of Phoenix have been inspected by us to make sure what they're selling is what is actually allowed to be sold right now. So you shouldn't see any illegal fireworks in any of the tents or any of the stores in the city of Phoenix. But even though we're saying they're permissible and you can use them, they're still very dangerous. Um, we have a lot of dry brush, we have a lot of brush fires and a lot of wildfires going on right now in the state. So if those fireworks catch some dry brush, they can easily spread to your house, to your car, to your patio and cause a lot of damage. Plus, that heat can also hit you in the eye, hit you in the hand, and permanent scarring from burns. And that's why we're telling people it's just, it's not worth it to use fireworks. And what is your advice to parents as far as age and watching their children and when they should be allowed to actually play with fireworks? Uh, state law says you have to be at least 16 in order to buy or use fireworks. Um, once again, we're just telling people just don't use them at all. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you.